Welcome back, you beautiful people. I'm out here with Oli Beckinsale, three times Olympic XC racer, a coach, and we've got five tips on how to lose weight and get fit through those winter months because it's the time to hibernate, but we're gonna slash that, get off that couch, get out there and get fit. We've got you to help. Yep, so today we're gonna look at the best ways to get fit this winter so we can come out back in the spring, smash those goals, PBs, oh. Strava sections, oh. race podiums. That's the key today. There's an old roadie saying, Winter miles, summer smiles. Oh, I like that. And that's what it's about. Okay, so if we're sitting around the winter, very easy just to sit there, make another cup of tea, sit on the sofa. Sounds good. But we've got a couple of things today that can help motivate us to get out and about, get fitter, and like I say, smash the spring. Ready, let's get money. Do it. Right, so the key first thing is we're not going to start jumping into riding yet. Okay. Okay. Or any kind of specific stuff. The most important thing for the winter is your motivation. Which gets killed a lot because it's freezing outside. Freezing, probably less motivated to go out. Yeah. All right. So the most important thing for motivation, the thing that's going to help, is to set yourself a goal. All right. So a lot of people, when they think goal, they start thinking of a race. Okay. Yeah. That's how my brain would work. <laughs> but it's not necessarily the best way to do it. It doesn't have to be a race. It could be for some of you guys, but the best thing, maybe just think of something a bit more personal. Okay. All right, and come up with a goal that might be out there that you ride every day. Mm -hmm. All right, so a little cheesy acronym we can look at, SMART. All right, Ooh, like all right. so when you're thinking about your goal, think SMART, all yeah. right? So specific, all right, measurable, yeah. achievable, yeah. relevant, yeah. and time-based. Okay. Okay, so yeah. easy five. Okay, so for you, you could be thinking, okay, I need to get my fitness up now. How about a 20K loop that you normally the, ride? I know the perfect one, yes. All right. So it's something you might ride regularly. You could ride it with your mates. Um, it might be a Strava section that you do, yeah. okay? And you want to go, well, actually, that's worth, worth it. It's specific because you ride it every day and you know what's good or what's bad or what's, how it's going to improve. What's the challenge? Measurable, obviously, we've got a time for it. And this is where your gadgets and bits and bobs can help. Okay, it's relevant, it's your route. If you go on it and you're faster, your mates are gonna know there's a bit of competition going on, okay? Yep. And the main thing, it's relevant, it's your loop, okay? Gotta be time-based too. So there's no point in picking a goal that's way out there. You know, classic one, new year, new me, I'm gonna go and ride my mountain bike for 10 hours. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna yeah, work. It's not gonna work, right? no. So for me, I can ride about five hours a week, okay? Free rides, five hours is normally about right. That sounds about achievable. About achievable. Yeah. If I suddenly said, well, I'm going to jump from five to eight, I'm going to probably fail, motivation drops, and then we've gone backwards again. So try and think something that you can achieve. It's got to be motivating, but it doesn't need to be so out there that after a month, you sack it off. Uh, I like All it. Right. Achievable. That's probably one of the main ones, eh? All right. But the big thing, if we can keep that motivation, set a goal, mm -hmm. keep motivated, that's the first point to losing weight, getting fit. Okay, so we're motivated. Yes. You've got your goal. Okay. Got it. The key now is to be consistent with your training. Oh, now right. that could be quite hard, huh? So try and think of the, the sessions you can do regularly that fits around. So it's got to fit around your life, work, family. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. And then, so let's try and think, so you're you yeah. might have a commute that you can do. Oh, yes, I You might not be have. able to do it every day. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's one thing we can try and do. But if we can do a consistency, so try and think of a weekly goal. All right, I think that's a good way of doing it. That helps with the consistency. Instead of just having sessions coming all there and everywhere, I'm free, free rides a week, and it doesn't ma necessarily matter what those rides actually are, as long as I'm getting something done. Okay, so I might wake up and go, well, I normally do a commute on a Tuesday of an hour, a mountain bike ride with my mates at night on a Wednesday and then something on a Saturday, yeah. for example. But something might change, something might pop up at work, wife needs to go out and do something, things have to change pretty rapidly. Yeah. And this is where you kind of, what I'd look at is having a menu of stuff. All right? Yeah. So you've got a little menu of rides you can do in a week, and you've got all your stuff ready. So you could suddenly go, all right, I can't do my Wednesday night ride, but I can suddenly get my cross bike, gravel bike, Ooh, yeah. and do a first day commute. Nice. The key is, is trying to hit those three things a week. What happens if the weather's bad? 
can I go to the gym and just do a spin Yeah, pass same thing. Yeah, the add, add in the indoor sessions yeah. as well. So that's where your, your indoor turbos come in. And they're obviously more entertaining. There's far more interactive ways yeah. of doing that now than there was with the smart trainers. Yeah. A gym session, like even if it's a conditioning session in the gym, um, you know, for some guys, a run. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh. if they're away with work, I know some guys or clients of mine, they can run and just throw a set of trainers in yeah. and get something done. But going on a bike ride, but it's just trying to keep, yeah. and you don't want to have those weeks where it just, well, what have we done this week? Yeah. Uh, not, not a lot. Okay, and as soon as we have those really kind of negative weeks, things start to drop down. Yeah. All right, so stay consistent, mix sessions up, try and get your mates involved as well. So if you can always get, for example, I do like a Wednesday night ride, and we go out for an That's hour good. blast, yeah, yeah. it's in the diary. Yeah. If I'm gonna go out on my own on a Wednesday night, yeah. That's the one that gets dumped, all right? So we want to try and have something consistent, get some mates involved, get in a group. Great rides. Get it done. Consistency is the key. Yeah. Simply your best way to get fit, lose weight in the winter is long ride. Oh, I do like a good long ride. Okay, so out and about. And the best way is thinking is trying to mix it up, have a good loop that's planned or trail centre ride, but simply put those long rides and the key is to keeping it a pace where you can have a good chat. Yeah. If we can still have a conversation, you're working aerobically, which means you're burning a lot of fat as a fuel source. You're going to be promoting your endurance and these are the key to getting fit. Easier said than done in the winter though. It is, yeah. I've got an, I've got an acronym for you. Go on then. TITS. Get your, I don't, it's not bad, it's time in the saddle. Nice Tits. one. I like it. I like it. Time in the saddle, that's what we're talking about steady pace and what we want to do is think about it try and link up with some mates mm -hmm. again we're going to look at that motivation if you've got a week look ahead at the weather forecast right that sunday we're all getting one big ride in like it. head off somewhere good a new route somewhere new to ride yeah. new trail center yeah. good calf Ooh, I do like and think calf. about getting you know a few hours in the saddle yeah. trying to maybe even link it up so instead of just riding consistently at one pace yeah. You might ride the first hour with a lot of climbing. Second hour, you might go, okay, we're going to session some downhills, but it's just trying to get that big, long, long riding. Like it. All right. right. That's the key for it. Another good one. I mean, I've got one training client who does the first Friday every month. Yeah. They all take it off uh, okay. and they all go for a big ride. Oh, well, that's cool, that. All right. But just trying to think of these ways, which we can, yeah. again, it goes right back. Yeah motivation, consistency. But if you can get those long rides in, yeah, yeah. even if it's one a month, yeah. one every other week, come the spring, they'll be the ones that will get you through a big day out. Yes. Right, we've got an hour to go, but I know a great calf. Great calf, it's all about the calf, right? Yeah, it is all about the calf. <laughs> right, so next one we're gonna look at, it's a really good little addition that you can add into all your normal rides. So you've got like a one or two hour mountain bike ride. And just to try and give it a bit of extra load, we're going to add some hips. Hip, All right. hip, what, put your so hips So you've already it. had your tits. Oh yeah. Your time in the saddle. Yeah. Now we've got your hips. Your high intensity peak sprints. And that is going to help build those hips. It's going to help build the hips. Or lose the hips. So we've got, it, what, the way you can add them in is those little like slow corners. Yeah. You're coming in slow, instead of just kind of riding out, five, six hard pedal revs. Okay. And if you add those into all your little sprints and surges, like every little corner during your ride, yeah. you end up with 20, 30 little efforts that you probably wouldn't have done. So something like this, when we come in, we're trying to gain a little speed, but it's got a little rise. Yeah. Keeping a harder gear, big bit of power, raises heart rate, muscles, calorie burn, and it's just going to give that a little addition to all the little rides. Okay. Hips. And the good thing is, because we're working that little bit harder on those cold winter days, it just will keep things a little warmer starts to use the upper body a bit as well. I know mountain biking, where it's, it's not like a road ride where we're just sitting down all day. Yeah. We're still working the bike. Yeah. But just those higher sprints really gets the core and the upper body working a bit harder as well. So it's a cool little addition just to add in. Just make a real conscious effort that every slow corner, a little Power five hard. Yeah, and we're just gonna smash those out. I like that, but power's my thing. And yeah, yeah, for you, it's all about the power, right? All about the hips. <laughs> Man, I'm a sucker. Big long ride, big slab of cake. Now, I feel guilty just, you know, eating this, but not. Nothing. Right. After a long ride like we've just done, there's nothing wrong with a bit of cake. Oh, yeah. That's a good start point. Mm. Again, it goes back to that thing. Start when we first looked at it, 
motivation. Mm. So if we've had a nice long ride and that's the reward, happy days. I'm going to be motivated to go for but another ride. Joking aside, it is a, good, it's a tough time in the winter to try and lose weight and eat healthy. It's easier said than done. We start the new year, mm. New Year's resolutions, a lot of people focus on diet um, and it's a tough time. Still, we're looking for comfort food. We're looking to come back and eat a load and sit on the sofa. Yeah. All right. So the most important thing with diet, without getting too complicated, is just think of a healthy, balanced diet most of the time. All right. So when we say healthy, balanced diet, as much fruit and vegetables as we can, some low, slow burn carbs. Mm -hmm. So brown rice, brown bread, oats. Oats, oh, porridge good. in the morning. All right. So things like that just to set us up for the day. Yeah. Some lean protein, chicken, fish. Mm -hmm. Eggs are good as well, and it's just trying to get a nice balance of healthy food most of the time. When I say most of the time, it's hard to keep it consistently, so it's good to maybe have a bit of a plan. Yeah. So we said before about consistently going out maybe for five hours on your bike a week. We could say, well, okay, I'm going to have a really healthy diet five days, so Monday yeah. to Friday. Good diet. Monday and Friday, you can be right focused and be healthy and good. On the weekend, a bit more relaxed and have a bit more fun. It is Saturday. So it, is Saturday. it is Saturday, we're all good, we're, we're good. Alive. But that's the way of doing it, so it's not so heavy as, if you try and do it seven days a week, all the time, the risk is you get grumpy, you have enough, and then you don't, you're not consistent with it. So be more realistic with your diet. Another good thing when we're thinking about diet is about fueling your ride. So it's making sure you never start a ride hungry. So if you're at your spin class, like you mentioned earlier, you might have had lunch at one o'clock. Spin class kicks off at six. Right. You've got to eat something. You've got to eat something. And it's a mistake a lot of people write, is they don't, they don't eat anything before because they think, well, I'm trying not to overeat because it's Christmas. Yeah. They finish the spin class at seven yeah. and then they eat the lot. Binge eat Absolutely. everything. So we actually go, right, I want to fuel before I do it. Two hours before your evening ride or your later day, you want to have a little snack. So you might have almost two sandwiches, maybe 12 and four. Yeah before you then train Planning at six o'clock and plan ahead a little bit. And it's just trying to stop that kind of binge eating with crisps and snacks and stuff, which will happen it does, yeah. if you leave it too late. It does. All right. That's the key one. So if you think about healthier diet, fruit, veg, lean protein, trying to do it consistently. So pick your days and then fueling for your ride. And then a bit of cake if you do the ride. And a bit of cake right now. Right now. Right now. Oh, <laughs> nice, that is good. Good info. So there you go, five tips on how to lose weight and gain fitness on your mountain bike, and we did get muddy. This was definitely a winter ride. <laughs> we did get muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, Ollie, for giving us your tips and tricks on how to lose weight and get fit on our mountain bikes, because hell, we all want to get fit and go further. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you want to stick around and continue to binge watch GMBN, don't forget there's a video on the screen. You can click it and continue to watch GMBN. Also, don't forget to hit that globe to subscribe, because you're missing out on some rad content. And I'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Ollie.